What's up guys, welcome to today's video. So I've got a really cool tutorial planned for you guys. I'm gonna walk you guys through a haircut step by step, but what makes this one a little bit different than normal? So occasionally in the mail, I'll receive some kind of hair product or something to make a video with. So today's definitely gonna be unique because I received a package, a random package that included a mannequin that was pre-colored. So this mannequin was colored by Mary Cromines, who is an international platform artist and educator for John Paul Mitchell Systems. She's also married to Robert Cromines, who is the global artistic director for John Paul Mitchell System. And those of you guys that have watched this channel for a while, you know my history with Robert Cromines. Holy moly. Yes, that was me 16 years ago. And the package came with this note right here. So it reads, Matt, it's always a pleasure for me and Robert to work with you. I colored this mannequin for you to cut. Can't wait to see what you create, Mary and Robert. So no pressure, but I wanna make this thing look cool. So I'm gonna walk you guys through. I think you're gonna love the haircut that I put together using this mannequin. So the color is super Super fun. I'm assuming that they use uh, Paul Mitchell Pop XG for the yellow tone and then the white tone. I'm not really sure. Maybe she can jump on and uh, explain that to you guys. But I love the placement. The placement was really cool and creative. It was definitely all around that front hairline was the white color. And then throughout it sporadically, there was white tones that kind of popped through. So what I want to do is take this haircut, open up the face to really showcase that white hair color and have that pop through. And then also kind of showcase through texturizing uh, the white pieces that went throughout. So it was really fun to take a look at a color technique and add a cut to it without actually knowing how she placed the color. Uh, just kind of looking through it, seeing how I wanted to enhance it. So I hope you guys enjoy this technique. It's gonna be super fun to walk you through it step by step. So let's get started, here we go. All right, guys, so as we get into this technique, I wanna walk you guys through the sectioning first. Sectioning to me is the most important thing that you can do because it's gonna make you more consistent in your execution. So let's talk about the sectioning. Left hand side parting, back to the crown, and then I kind of comb the hair over to the front of the head and I let it start to part itself. That's basically gonna take the hair that wants to be in the top and it's gonna keep it on the top and the hair that wants to fall to the bottom, it's gonna keep that on the bottom. Then I twist away the heavier side, breaking that in half uh, from top to bottom that way as well and now we're gonna work a sliver of a section in the side basically what I'm doing here is I'm taking away where that white hair color was because I want to get a little bit creative with the texture of that um, I'm also keeping a disconnection underneath because I'm gonna play with that length in the dry cut later on so we're gonna work through I'm gonna twist that up in a way and that's really just that part side gonna be able to create a ton of movement create some shorter layers in there we're almost going to get a shag effect uh, within the layering so now i'll create my disconnection whenever i'm disconnecting something i like to braid it off uh, for me braiding just kind of keeps it separated keeps it nice and tight sometimes hair can slip out of a clip but it doesn't slip out of a braid as easy so i'll just braid that off in a way so now we're going to go from that crown point that we created earlier and i'm going to draw a line down to behind the ear and that's gonna start the sectioning for the right hand side. And then I'm gonna comb that up in a way and meet the point right up at that temple area um, or that recession point and draw my line there. That's gonna create the second sliver section, uh, which we're just gonna create some disconnected layers within, which is, uh, got it. it's a fun way to create a ton of movement in a haircut. So now the final thing that I'll do is separate that disconnection on the right hand side. Same thing that we did on the left. I'm gonna braid it through uh, to get it sectioned off. So now I wanna talk about this tool because it's very special to me. This is our brand new Tri Razor by Free Salon Education. Uh, it's the tool that we came up with, we designed, we got the patent for, uh, well, patent pending. And uh, so I wanna show you guys how this thing works. So we're gonna use the 100% cutting side first. So I'm gonna take a two inch wide section in the back and I'm actually gonna work down the hair. I wanna find where the head wants to curve and that's where I'm gonna start my layering technique. So what I wanna do is just softly go into the hair, start cutting those layers and then slide the tri razor down the hair uh, ever so slightly what that's gonna do is not give me uniform layers it's gonna give me natural texture and I'm gonna do that on both sides of the head so just combing everything down light tension in the hair and then just let the tri razor do its thing as you slide it over now don't push too hard because obviously you don't want to push through unless you do so <laughs> you've got to make that choice 
So then I go through, cut the perimeter line, keeping that nice and shattered for now. You can always cut that with a scissor if you want it to be a more blunt line. But look at those layers already popping uh, with just three sections. Now we're gonna work through uh, our left hand side. I'm gonna work vertical partings, traveling guide from the back to the front. So just bringing everything over to it. Now watch what I do with the guide line, right? So I grab a guide from the back where I started those layers with the tri razor. And now I'm gonna comb everything up and just with a swipe, just like you're swiping a credit card, you create uh, that first line. Now I grab my subsection and now I'm going to scoop and pull my guideline to the new section. So now we finished up the left hand side. Now I'm going to comb out that disconnection. We're going to play around with that later in the dry cut. The last thing I'm going to do on the left side here is just swipe through and create my outer perimeter line. So again, you could do that with a scissor if you want to. That's up to you and what you're trying to create. Now we're going to do the same thing on the right hand side as we did on the left, working through traveling guide, make sure that you're pulling that guideline to the new hair. Notice how I scoop underneath and I pull it up and then I swipe just like a credit card and get my line. So I'm just gonna work my way through this section and then we'll start working on the top. So now we finished those layers on the right hand side. We're gonna mess with that disconnection, like I said, in the dry cut later on. So let's move into the top. The inspiration for the top comes from Robert Cromings himself, uh, which was a pop top technique back in the day. And how you would do that technique is you'd basically take the entire top of the head, pull it forward, and then cut it all at once. I'm gonna do a very similar uh, feel to that, but I'm gonna break it up into a few sections and I'm gonna work to create a nice angled line for my end result. So nice vertical, slightly vertical, slightly uh, diagonal uh, line towards the front and then I work that tri razor with about two inch passes up and down to cut my diagonal line now the fun part here I comb the rest of it all forward and I use my texture 50 side which will remove 50% of the hair and I bounce that from ends to mid shaft just work it back and forth creating uh, invisible layers and a nice light feeling to the ends of this haircut so look how easy they are to kind of manipulate and twist and style out all right so now we're just going to go through tap off those ends using the tri razor and then we're going to start our style using paul mitchell quick slip this product's not only going to give you a soft hold it'll also speed up your drying time as well which is super valuable in the salon when we're trying to get through each guest throughout the day so now i work that product through another little tip here is after i work it through with my hands i like to brush it through to make sure i get the product on every bit of the hair and now i'm going to start my blow dry a nice little flat wrap to start it off this is going to help get me control at the base and help smooth out the hair. I'm using my Ergo Diamond Head Paddle Brush. It's available on Shop FSE, which is our website. Uh, and then once I get the hair about 80% dry, I go in with Paul Mitchell Hot Off the Press. Uh, this is a heat protectant, so it's great for that hair that starts to dry up a little bit. You wanna add a little protection to it uh, before you add more heat and get that hair dry. So number one way to damage your hair is to not use product when blowing it dry. Um, obviously, as professionals, we know that, but we need to tell it to our clients as well. So I go through, now I got my Ergo round brush. I'm going to work that hair, get as much volume as I can throughout the top. Like I said, I wanted to showcase that white hair color that was popping in the front of this. So that's how I'm going to do that is use the style and the cut that we did. So now look at that. Look how beautiful that white color is going through it. I'm going to use Paul Mitchell Express Ion Style Plus uh, to iron out that disconnection. And then we're going to finish this off doing a dry hair cutting technique on the disconnection. That dry hair cutting technique is one of my favorites. It's called the tease cutting technique. So what I'm gonna do is half close the scissor as I push in, and it's gonna help create a nice soft bevel to the ends. So you'll see it's moving real fast, but I'm half closing as I go into it, and that's adding layers, adding texture to that disconnection. So we're gonna work our way all the way around the head, and I'll show you guys how this pops out in the end result.
So you can already see that texture starting to come to life. Um, so what I want to do is I'm going to go in, I'll do that. I'll do a little bit of slide cutting around the face to break that up a little bit, but just that kind of the pieciness of it. And then I go in with Paul Mitchell spray wax, which is my all time favorite product just to add that flexibility and that texture and then finish it off with a little bit of iron work kind of twisting out some of those pieces just bringing this whole style to life uh, obviously you could style this perfectly straight you could style it uh, with a ton of wave to it i love showcasing all the texture and you can really see how that money piece that mary put in there just really pops throughout this cut so uh, volume in that fringe i hope you guys like it I, I loved doing this video this is one of my favorites i hope this gets to happen again but i hope you guys liked it as much as i did uh creating it let me know in the comments below if you have any questions subscribe to the channel got a ton more content like this coming out all the time so guys thank you so much i'll see you on the next video by the way, guys, if you didn't know already, we have an online store called Shop FSE. That's Shop Free Salon Education. Uh, I always love to hear if you guys made it this far in the video. So write made it in the chat uh, down below. And also, go to our online store and use the code MADEIT at checkout. And I'll give you 10% off your order of $100 or more. You can pick up the tri razor, you can pick up the ergo brushes, the combs, the clips. Everything that I use in these videos is available on Shop FSE. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate the support and I'll see you guys again. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.